conference itself, it brings together the entire international community of science journalists so that they can discuss their profession, they can discuss changes in their profession, changes in working practices, um, can work to develop their skills and to improve the you know, standards of science reporting internationally. Everyone's got their agenda and what's important in shaping that debate a science journalist with the confidence to honestly report their take on a situation, whether it's climate change, stem cell research, swine flu. I think there are lots of issues at the moment that have either been misreported or need good reporting and I think as a broadcaster and as an, uh, a teacher of journalism, it's really important to get these issues really clear. Well, it's uh, not only meeting people from, uh, and science journalists from all around the world, but also trying to learn more and to get more tools to improve my writing and how I cover stories. I remember two and a half years ago when we were planning this, I thought, what if we got together the Science Media Centre, the BBC, Nature, Science, uh, the Royal Society, all getting together, working together to bring this conference about? And here we are. We've got 900 delegates from 70 countries. Uh, yesterday we had uh, some from uh, developing and emerging countries being taught at workshops. Today we've had our first sessions. Uh, they've been not, of, uh, not just of high quality, but uh, they've been well attended as well. So I'm delighted, absolutely delighted about that. The point of Global Voices is to shed light on areas that are not covered by mainstream media. I uh, think uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, some areas uh, in Asia, China, um, anywhere in the world where we don't see that much, um, that many pieces coming out in the mainstream news, yet there's stuff happening and people are talking about it. So we basically we need to listen to what the rest of the world is talking about. I'll tell you that. I, I, I didn't see Twitter coming, I didn't see Facebook coming. What is, what is hot though is mobility. Uh, mobile phones are becoming um, essential tools not just for journalists but for everyone to do far more than just talking. But today, after the sessions, I now feel like I know so much. <laughs> and I wish there should be a way to actually, I mean, an opportunity to continue the learning process. So I spoke specifically about how Egypt's media covered swine flu and what the weaknesses of our coverage were. When it comes to the creationism evolution debate, that we should sort of present, we should use some notion of journalistic balance to present creationism as if it's uh, a, you know, a, a sensible and valid alternative to evolution, because I, I, I don't think you're doing a, a, a service to the reader uh, by doing that. The uh, bit in the middle that makes the wheel go round, the oily bit, is science journalists, and that's what we're doing here. Plus we like to get together and drink. Um, oh, I found a session this afternoon on philanthropy, science, philanthropy and science, really interesting. Um, fascinating to see all those old folks up there with mega bucks, and you know they've got these decisions to make about where to where to put their money. Were you tempted to marry one of them? Well, I tried to. I took him off to the side, but his wife and daughter were there, kind of going, "Come on, we're going to go now. We're gonna, we'll meet you out the front. We'll be there shortly." You know. Thing is, if you're hungry and you want to get ahead, you embrace science. What's the hottest part of the sun? The hottest part of the sun is actually above the surface of the sun. I heard it was page three. Oh, I see. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Publicize science as widely as you can, and, and to dismiss tabloids is, is a mistake. <laughs> I suppose that access to technology is very important. You've even come equipped yourself today. Are those USB earrings? Yes, they are. Can um, we give us a demo? Sure. <laughs> so you just pop it out and you stick it in the uh, USB drive. It's one gig each for one side, each side of it. <laughs> one gig per ear. And uh, uh, my efforts to do that give me a deep admiration for science journalists. And that's because I know from 
bitter experience how hard it is to explain clearly even something which I think I understand quite well. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow science journalists, the next World Conference will be held in 